Hi everyone, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on my first trip to Ireland and I'm going to be going to Dublin. I'm actually going there and back in one day, which is something I've never done before, but I've been thinking about it for a while. Kind of give myself the challenge of flying somewhere and back in a day as a little day trip. I think it is completely doable as long as everything goes to plan with the flights. I'm actually going with my mum. I got the tickets for her birthday present. It was her birthday last week literally the day after i got back from south america we actually fly to dublin early tomorrow morning number one i always forget to film intros and number two i'm not really an early morning person so i thought i would just film this now and then update you guys when we are on the way to the airport but yeah it's currently quarter to ten i've just got back from work i'm very tired and we've got to be up really early to go to the airport so i think i'm gonna get some sleep now but I will see you guys in the morning when we are on the way to the airport. This is my outfit of the day. So my jeans and my top are from Zara. My jacket I got from the thrift shop in Guatemala. My little bag, I think it's from Primark. And then my bandana is also from that thrift shop in Guatemala. It is 10 past 7 now. We have just got through security and got coffee. And we're going to go to the gate soon. Our flight is at 7.45, so we've not got that long now. We have arrived in Dublin. Our flight was about 40 minutes or 45 minutes. And then we took the Dublin Express coach from the airport to the centre, which was 14 euros for a return ticket. First place we stopped was for some food because we were starving. I'm actually still hungry, to be honest. Here is our food. So we've also got some avocado toast, some sausages green smoothie and peach ice too. It was quite expensive, it came to like 42 euros which is about 38 pound I would say, 36, 38 pound for two people but people did say that Dublin was expensive so I guess we'll see. But right now we are on O'Connell Street I'm pretty sure it's called which I think is like the main shopping street <laughs> in Dublin so I think we're just going to walk down here we are going to look in Primark or it's Irish name Pennies looks exactly the same so we've just had two setbacks first of all we went to the National I think it was called the National History Museum I was actually really excited to see but then when we got there it was basically like only one room I'll insert a clip that I took but it was just like one room that was only filled with stuffed animals it didn't have any like history about Ireland or anything which I thought it was gonna be probably only spent about 10 minutes in there but it was free so it's fine and then from there we decided to go to the Guinness storehouse which we weren't originally sure if we were gonna do it's one of the top things to do but my mum doesn't drink especially beer so that's why we weren't sure if we were going to do it but about two hours ago we looked on the website and it listed that all the times were available that those tickets we got a taxi over there because it's a bit out of the city they charged me 19 euros for the taxi we arrived and then they said it was sold out for the day so we didn't get to go in after all and now we are just slowly walking our way back into the city because we don't want to pay for another taxi. That was a bit disappointing, but if you want to go to the Guinness storehouse, make sure that you book it in advance. Even if it says on the day that there's tickets, apparently it sells out really fast, so. I found these Guinness and steak crisps, so I'm going to try these instead. And I've just got a Coke. And this is the little cafe that we're in. Don't taste like beer. So we have just come. Yeah, he's filming a vlog. That's what I just said. I just said there's another YouTuber filming himself. He's not talking to himself. He's doing what I'm doing right now. I literally just said to my mum, "Oh, there's another YouTuber across the road," and then she went, "Yeah, he's talking to himself." Well, no, he's not. He's doing what I'm doing right now. We've just come to the Temple Bar area. I actually thought Temple Bar was just one bar, but it's a whole area of bars. But there is one specific famous bar, which is that one behind me, the red one. You might have seen pictures of it. 
but we've just got a drink so my mum just got a coke zero because as i said she doesn't drink but i decided to get a pint because when in dublin so i do actually like beer and when i was in south america i drank beer all the time when i was in spain and stuff all the time but i have only ever drank beer like out of a can or a bottle and I'm guessing there's a difference I'm not going to pretend to be a beer connoisseur now but I'm guessing there's a difference between like a draft and a bottle so when my mum gets back from the toilet I'm gonna get her to film me trying it my first um, official pint in Ireland okay taste test It's different but not that different to the bottle. It's good. Try it. Try it, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so my mum got me this necklace which is a gold uh, I was gonna say four leaf clover but it's not four leaf. What's it called if it's not four leaf? Three leaf. <laughs> no, you called it something else. No, it's just we'll begin with an S. Clover. No, it's three leaf. Shamrock. 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 Yeah, shamrock. Anyway, I wanted something like a look, good look necklace, and I always lose my necklaces, so I currently only have one. So my mum got me that one from this shop, and then i'll show you what else i got i got this shamrock yeah it is shamrock because it says there shamrock shortbread i also got my latest patch because i'm collecting patches now of every country that i've been to and i didn't have an island one i didn't really want three but it just came in a pack as three so i had to get three latest country for the list <laughs> We're so tired, we're like delirious now, but we just landed at Manchester. We actually just walked straight through those no customs. Wasn't really sure because technically Republic of Ireland is not in the UK, so I thought we'd have to do customs, but we didn't, which was good. And now we just walk into the tram and I'm so tired. It is now the next day, it's one o'clock. I'm just getting ready to go to work. I'm gonna leave in a few minutes. It's so weird. I know I was only gone for a day this time, but I always find it so mind blowing how you can just go from being in another country to then just like snap back to like normal life, if that makes sense. I always find that really hard to wrap my head around. But yeah, last night when we made it home, we were really tired. Not gonna lie, I'm still really tired today. We got into bed just before midnight and we left the house yesterday at 4.30am so it was a super super long day. I would really recommend a trip to Dublin as a city. A few people were asking me why I only went for the day so I can't remember if I already said that in the intro but I'll say it again. So I went for the day because the flights were really cheap, it only cost £15 each way so £30 altogether. I thought it would be a good birthday present for my mum. Previously, me and my mum have been on days out to London and stuff, but to get down to London, it's two hours on the train, and the trains are so, so expensive. The past few times that I've been to London, I've taken the coach, which is cheaper, but it takes about five hours, and obviously that doesn't work if you're just going for the day. So yeah, compared to going to London, it's a lot cheaper, and the flight is only 35 minutes, so although it seems like a big deal like flying to another country and back in one day actually it's only a 35 minute flight and you can get the flights for even cheaper than what I paid for them sometimes Ryanair flights are going for like five pound each I paid 15 pound but obviously you can get it for five which would then only cost you £10 to get there and back, which is crazy. I think it is really doable as a day trip. Just make sure you get a good night's sleep the night before you go because the night before we flew, I slept for like three hours. I just couldn't sleep, so that's why I was so tired yesterday as well. There was actually quite a few people on our flight who said that they were doing the same thing, like flying there and back just for the day. So I think it's actually a little bit more popular than what I thought it was. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to Dublin. If you have any questions, 
leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed make sure to do so so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos because i've got some really good ones planned and in the works right now so i will see you all soon bye